Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a breakout trade on gold. Now, gold has been catching quite a bit of sell-off just looking at this one minute chart here, but if we scroll back a little bit, this selling off is coming after a, a huge push higher after the open. Uh, once we opened up at 820, we moved uh, from the open at 820, oop, wrong tool, from the open at 820 we moved up almost 100 ticks in, in two minutes. And now we're starting to get this this kind of meandering down and, and just kind of where people are sort of taking profits. And, and the people that were holding back here, once you start reaching into that area, that's where they start getting stopped out. And you're seeing quite a bit of selling pressure coming in on the opposite side of things now. Now, we recently just had this push down underneath here and this pushed it through and it did close underneath it showing us quite a bit of conviction to the downside and it kind of based out a little bit and then pushed one more time now we're starting to see that same thing we're meandering to the side a little bit now what I'm looking for is yet again another push right back to the downside again so I'm gonna be looking to sell this market short uh, on the way down here uh, and what I'll do is I'm gonna place my orders ahead of time and we're gonna take four contracts on either side uh, now we will have the buy st the buy stop normally would be placed um, in in sort of an area that we would be looking for uh, to take it to the downside, but because or I'm sorry to the upside, but because we know the bias on this is down, I'm really only going to be interested in the downside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be looking to sell short. Uh, let's see, 1257.8 is the low. Let's duck down a couple ticks underneath that. We'll go to 1257.6 for the short and we'll give it just a little bit of time waiting on the clock down there and we want to wait for a couple seconds before that move happens and then we can drop it now three seconds before so looking short at 1257.6 we actually got a, quite a better fill than we were looking for actually 1257.8 is where we got filled uh, a huge push down uh, immediately actually filled all of all of our all of our contract short perfect um, now I was gonna say the one area that we needed to be careful of was this low right here and you can see that's right where we're bouncing off of now that doesn't mean that it's going to be a, an immediate reversal goes right back up again but what we do have to be careful of is looking to take profit in that area because we will see a bounce like we're seeing right here now usually after those bounces on aggressive moves like this you get a bounce up and then close straight back down again so we which is what we're getting right now. So we'll probably get a stronger push down, uh, but overall, uh, plus five at two contracts, so we took 10 off at uh, 1257.3, uh, one contract off at plus 10 for 20 ticks, and then another one off at 20 ticks for a total of $400 on four contracts. Uh, so really, really powerful move to the downside here on gold uh, for a really, a really awesome breakout. Actually filled all of our targets in under 30 seconds. So 400 bucks for 30 seconds of work is definitely nothing to shake a stick at. So that's going to be today's trade. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. We'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Have a good one.